<sighs> oh, okay, we've now got a normal amount of whiskey. It's winter vibes. This is a winter pickup video, kind of a pickup video. It's more about what I've got. One of the pieces is actually from the last year. Uh, yeah, it's just yeah, it's it's just a pickup video. So yeah, I, what I haven't done these in a while, but I shouldn't stop complaining that I've not done videos for a while. There's going to be a video now. It's, you're watching it. There's going to be another one in another indiscriminate amount of time. So Why can't you know you what I mean. Start. Sit down. You're going to make noise. Just sit down. I'm sorry. We all know. Just just I take. Move. I won't move after. I... Anyway, we'll get straight into it. We're doing a winter pickup video. I've got a lot of pieces recently. I feel like it's too short to do like two videos because it's like ten in total. But. Like five five pieces isn't enough for a video, you know what I mean? Like it's just not it's not giving the people what they want, which is a very tasteful man shitting on the lesser lower people in life, which is all of you. So uh, without further ado, let's start from the bottom. And this is one of my favourite fucking pieces I've got recently, which is some loafers from the row. Uh, these are brown eel skin, and I love these loafers. Ruby br ruby red brown ish like this beautiful beautiful color of loafer i really love eel skin as a as a material it's so like the slender strips with like the spine detail that you can see down the middle are so amazing um the shape is just one of the best loafers this season and it, it in, the, in the last couple of years i've seen it's very very unique it's kind of like giving uncle vibes but like sexy 70s uncle you know what i mean um but i've been trying to wear this with like more of my light denim shirts a lot more casually um, but they're just so comfortable, man. Also, I love it when the sole is like half rubbered already. So I don't, I probably won't have to get these done at the cobblers, if that makes sense, when I actually wear them like I should do because I'm a moron and with the clothes that I love, I don't wear them that much because I get too precious about them instead of, you know, just fucking wearing them like a normal person. So yeah, that's my, that's my first piece. Next is my Bottega inflated haddock. Ha is it haddock? I think it's haddock boat shoes um these are like the perfect winter shoe um i've been wanting some more comfortable formal shoes as i mentioned and these being a bit chunkier it's a bit better for rain i don't mind these getting messed up as much um i've worn these a couple of times already because i already have that mentality in my head um i've been wearing i've been wearing a lot of black recently i've got a few different black pieces that you're about to see so I'm kind of proud of myself for like toning it down with the color he said in all blue um but yeah, these are just like the new winter beaters. Uh, I've got some black Rick boots from ages ago that I'm going to wear as well during winter, but I've had those for a while now and they're more of a combat shoe and these are just more of a a fun kind of like fashion piece because as, as I said, like for the longest time, past couple of years, I've been really doing like vis -me plain kind of stuff like dad wear and I've kind of got some more fun fashion bits, bits in the mix now. So the wardrobe's really shaping up to be super bipolar and very very much like i've got all these perfect mixes where if, if, a, if a shirt's a bit too loud i've got a trouser to tone it down or a loafer or whatever um but this is a a, a slightly more fun formal shoe that's just got that chunkier aesthetic to just like throw a planer outfit into that like fashion plane um next i have just acquired some beautiful brown wool Bottega trousers as well. Ironically, it goes so, so well with those those haddock shoes. Um, quite often for me and my clients, when I'm doing my personal shopping styling thing, I get obsessed with like categories at a time. So the next one as well is gonna be ripped denim. I've got two pieces of ripped denim recently that I've just fallen actually in love with two pieces at the right time because I've thrown myself into that realm and like focused on it. Um, but these pants are just so soft that there's an elasticated waist with like the perfect fastening at the front um, This this fastening like covers usually it's a bit too much this fastening like I prefer a, a button a crossover button fastening But this has an elasticated back. So there's no pulling on the front um, But they're just like the perfect width slouchy really really easy to wear for winter I'm gonna throw like I've got black loewe like fake croc loafers that I'm gonna throw on with them and like a big chunky cardigan. It's just that like very classic Mr. Rogers fucking winter vibe. Um, but I, I love these so much. I have worn these a lot already, but they're just so comfortable on the waist, man. Like I can just power through fucking whatever restaurant and not feel a thing in these. They're amazing. 
Um, next, as mentioned, is the ripped denim. So the most recent one that I got is the Celine denim. Uh, the Celine denim is so perfect. It was one of those things where, you know, as much as online shopping is so prevalent right now, I implore anyone to go and shop some try stuff on. When I was just in Dubai, was with a friend, went to Celine, tried them on, and like just knew immediately. Like when I buttoned them up, like I knew the length was good. I knew it was like the waist was good. Um, I'm a 30 in Celine. It just for whatever fit model they use, 30 for me is perfect because it stretches a little bit. It's just a really comfortable, like thick denim. Um, a stupid thing as well. Not that I really want to show off my tattoos or like dress to show them off, but like. The little fucking rips on the knees just show off my little stars you know what i mean just so you can have a little flash of the little knee stars just cute um but i, I haven't been enamored by rip denim recently but the next pair is what got me into getting this pair so the next pair get away get out of here fly ah. this, this isn't your time to shine the next one i got is a piece that oh, i got it is uh <laughs> i just i'm so good at not being distracted while i'm filming i just sent that fly to hell um, is some raft denim. So finally saw the right piece. I've not killed it. It's there. I can see it. Um, oh, it's gonna. I'm gonna be distracted this entire video. We might as well just stop now. No, I'm kidding. Um, the raft denim is. Stop showing me shit, mid. What? What do you mean distractions? And you're showing me random things. Stop. Shut up. Don't make any noise. Don't show me stuff. Raft denim. Holy fuck. Oh my god. Got that. Finally, is a piece that I saw from his last collection. I went to the show, it was, it was really, really cool where he did it and how he did it, but the clothes are so disappointing, man, for the last Raph show. You know, and I've got to be objective about everything. I've got so much love for Raph. I have so many of his clothes. I love what he's done. I, I'm, I've been the biggest fan of him forever, but like the last show was like, it was tired. It just felt lackluster. And it's such a shame, but I when we were in LA last, I saw a pair of their ripped denim. And it's that classic ripped denim that he's done for a few seasons now, but this perfect combo of kind of like just a black denim with the gray chambray underneath is very, very comfortable. And it just, for me, this colorway works in a way that just is better than the rest. Like he's done like bright orange and black before and it's just too much. But like this one is very, very tastefully done. I feel they mix really, really well together. Um, and this is the one that sparked me to like get into the ripped denim thing again, because this just also fits perfectly off the, off the peg. I did have them shortened a little bit. It was I was very scared taking them to my tailor because I was like, you know you have to shorten both layers on each leg, right? And it was a little scary, but they came out perfect. Um, and again, like trying to get the fashion pieces in, so now I can wear this with some more like toned down shirts and whatever. So we've got some ripped denim for winter because that's really what you need when it's cold, right? Um, oh, let me consult the list. This is how many fucking clothes I have this time. And, you know. Um, okay, moving to a shirt. My favorite people in the entire world, Namacheco, gave me two pieces recently that just couldn't be more perfect. This shirt's so, so beautiful. Dylan did so well this season with like overdying this denim stuff. Um, there's some beautiful colors on there as well. Like I really love the yellow one. Um, there's another color as well, I've forgotten what it is. But this is a perfect kind of like denim over shirt. It's weird because it fits a little bit bigger on the shoulders, but I feel like this is a kind of fit of shirt that I don't have. I have a Marnie one that's very similar, that's green, but it's a bit more fitted. This one is more of a perfect overshirt, so I'm going to throw jumpers on underneath this. So this will, this might go under a big coat like the Balenciaga one I'm about to show you. Um, but I've been wearing this for like ripped denim. As I said like a lot of black. Um, I've been trying to wear more black again recently. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, man, like this this print, this this overdye sort of denim is just out of this world. And there's something about this and the, the next jacket I'm going to show you from Namacheco. The buttons that they've done, they always do beautiful buttons and just like the detail on the buttons that I'll show you is just so mind blowing. I love those guys and I love what they do. I love you, I love you both and they're just the, the best and I love the shirt. Moving on to the jacket as well, which is the thingy jacket. I've forgotten the name. I had it in my head earlier. I was going to fucking try and impress everyone and just forgotten and I refused to check. So um, yeah, it's just got this beautiful, beautiful black oversized jacket. It's kind of almost feels slightly padded slightly cropped on the body i'm thinking about shortening the sleeves a little bit here i think i've got room to maybe just do an inch to be a perfectionist about it but because it's cropped in the body you can leave your sleeves longer a lot of the time especially with outerwear to kind of contrast because if you end up doing it too short on the sleeves when you've got a shorter body it can be a little bit too boxy whereas in this case that juxtaposition of the sleeve length to the body kind of enhances the difference in the difference enhances the shape of the jacket of what it's meant to be. 
um, and I really really like that. So the and the braided detail on the collar and how it fastens at the top and on the pockets is just so so nice. Um, I'm not really actually sure how to wear this. I wore it once already with an Amacheco fit and very, with the, the shirt underneath as well and like all black which is easy but like that's too easy you know what I mean so I'm kind of figuring out other ways to wear this go on short body, short body. okay just call me short you did this last time as well um yeah I do need short body shirt it's bad man I need to just grow still is that possible can I grow um another black jacket Next is this beautiful Kiko jacket, and I also remember the name of this one. I've completely forgotten it because I've had this much whiskey. So uh, all my prep for this, is it the... No, I'm not gonna guess, I'm not gonna guess. Uh, I got it from DSM. I saw it on the Broken Armor ori originally, and it's just so, so cool. And then DSM got it. Um, there's a green version as well in a different material. They have like matching trousers, but again, I just wanted this fashion piece. I hadn't touched on Kiko in a while. I hadn't got anything from him. So my, that's where my focus was drawn, looked at a couple of seasons, looked at a few websites, whatever, found this, didn't have a little black jacket, and now I've got two. And yeah, this is a really, really cool thing for layering. At the moment it's not too cold, so I wore this today um, with this exact outfit and threw this over the top. And it was really, really nice actually to just have this kind of like light layer um, and throw some like jersey underneath it. So it, you, it's really, really adaptable. And weirdly, Although it's quite, you know, it's Kiko, it's quite techy kind of lead. I've worn it with a lot of my Visvim, a lot of my denim so far, and it's actually kind of easy to wear down. I don't know why, um, but I just, I love the shape as well. Again, the button detailing on this is amazing. I love the little straps on the arms as well. And again, just like that, it's that contrast of like short body, long sleeves. Um, it's a really classic, cool Kiko piece to have that was a, I knew something like this was missing in my wardrobe, if that makes sense. You know when you know you've got that little pocket that you need to fill? This is one of them, um, and that won't go anywhere. And I think this is gonna be a really good investment piece. I, I think you know all, all Kiko items hold value. Um, I, that, I saw that fly go in front of the lens. If he's if he's making cameos, I'm gonna be livid. If he's, if he's in this, I'm gonna charge him. Um, next is finally found a bomber, uh, which is the Martin Rose. Um, Spoiler alert, there's a logo on the back, and I know that's not very me. The only reason I've done this is because it looks faded, and you know what I'm like. I try and buy new things that will look cool when they're vintage. I try and buy new things that will look cool when they've aged and will look vintage, is what I'm trying to say. Um, I saw this in Selfridges, man. Just the, this pink. I, I didn't want like the classic green bomber, and I love that this is a bit of a chunkier shape. I hope it's actually going to deflate almost a little bit. I want the sleeves to just lay a little bit flatter. Um, but it's just a really thick, beautiful, vintage kind of style bomber. And this this pink, this season that they did is just so, so perfect. I love all the little R kind of like um, tonal buttons as well. But I didn't really mind the Martine thing on the back because it's on this one, I think it's really tastefully done. I think it's like damage faded already. Um, and as I said, like I've kind of bought this as, an, as a way to push me into a vintage bomber style that I wouldn't really go for. But this one just really, really took me by surprise, tried it on, fit was amazing. And I was like, cool, let's go for this one. Fuck it up a little bit. I've worn it a little bit already, which is a miracle because I love it. And we know what I'm like. And yeah, they it's just gonna it's gonna get grubby and I want it to just like I really I'm gonna try my hardest to fuck it up, but someone's gonna interrupt in a second and go, I don't fuck up any of my clothes, so she's right and whatever. I'll try to fuck it up and make it look cool. I just want I I need to keep wearing it because I said the, the shoulders and the sleeves are quite puffy. And I think that they'll lose a lot of that over time. And I really want it to like sink in a little bit more and have a little bit more, uh, when it when it has a little bit more wear, it will just flatten ever so slightly. And it's just gonna look so much better. Um, next is quite a special piece. Um, this was a special order from Dover Street Market Ginza. Um, it's a color coat and it's a split coat, which is again, weirdly, this is as much as a fun fashion split coat piece this is, it's two very classic, almost British style car coat, just classic formal coat on the other side. Um, and it's, it's weird because although this seems like such an extreme coat, I actually think it's quite easy to wear. I think this goes over quite a lot. 
and again it just does that perfect job of like you know i can put something really really plain underneath for winter and just be warm and casual i even wore i was wearing it with joggers the other day with a denim jacket underneath and it just it just worked beautifully so you can go full eccentric i buy all the art in the world fucking crazy man or you can just throw some joggers and some new balance on and just spice up a little cozy fit you know um but i really really love this piece and it's just fit straight off the peg beautiful um, and last but not least, the Balenciaga coat that I mentioned. I think it's dark grey, but in this light, in the living room, it looks black. But it's dark grey, right? It's, it's dark grey. I think it's really dark grey. Um, it's dark grey. I think it's dark grey. We'll have to see when we're outside. I remember it being dark grey. It's this lighting. It's just like, you know what I mean? It's throwing me off. Um, beautiful oversized coat. Never going to get rid of it. Insta like The moment I tried it on, I knew that I had the sleeve shortened. I was just like, the moment I got it back from the tailors, my friend George, who I always mentioned, uh, helped, helped me with this coat again. And it's just like, man, like, it's just so perfect. It's just, it's just that, that piece that really, really is Denmark and that Balenciaga moment that's happening, but also can just go with anything and everything. There's actually a really small logo on the back of the neck, on the nape of the neck, at the, at the back of the neck um, that's embroidered in. Which I don't mind at all because it's tonal again, and it's just it, you. You could literally never know. Um, but yeah, this is just one of those coats that like yeah, you can throw it over literally anything. Like it's just the perfect huge winter coat, and I've never really had anything like that before. And again, like I went for a plainer colour. I think it's charcoal. I think it's charcoal, not black. But again, I, I don't have anything like that. So I've really been kind of keeping my darker, muted, classic kind of things coming. Um, but also with all of it kind of touching on the fashion piece and again I'm just fucking just got crazy taste I just get the best shit like look at all of what I've just shown you you know what I mean like it's everyone's stepping who else in the fashion menswear YouTube is showing you shit like this you know what I mean everyone's fucking showing off their hot bods and I'm sat here with a small dad belly buying the craziest pieces but no one cares because I'm not wildly attractive so you know I'm a purist and you need to appreciate me more right is that how you feel uh, she's just giggling so that's just a lie but yeah it's my winter pickups tell me what you think I'm pretty confident with this lot so I actually don't care what you think I, I think I've fucking nailed it I think I've done really well so uh, I don't know you tell me I won't log I will I always log it's always fun just yeah anyway hope you like my clothes see you in four months bye